she says my least favorite thing to ever hear on this show, which is, well, I'll lip sync every week if that means I'm gonna get my way there. And I'm just like, girl, even if you pack every other girl up this season, do you really think Rue's gonna put the crown on your head if you're not delivering in the challenges? Wait, how dare you? You, first and foremost, are not sticking at all. You are literally wearing trash. I'm not gagging. I mean, I'm gagging it from like the smell. It's like, bitch, do you bathe? So what, what kind I of vibe are you going for? Like this Christmas skirt, uh -huh. like a tree skirt, but then I don't know how to finish a whole outfit. Derek Barry is not creative, obviously, because he's impersonating someone else his whole life. He will definitely have the hardest time with this challenge. And I'm like stuck on what to do for the top. This is sad. Kim Chi has two left feet and vertigo. Oh! Don't get scared. I'm not scared, I'm just trying to be prepared. I know. I'm not gonna be unprepared because of you, boo. I can sense that Asher definitely wants to be the group leader, but it ain't happening. Acid Betty is an asshole, and she knows it, and she loves it. And that's why she doesn't work in New York. She's so demanding and mean to everyone that nobody wants to work with her. You're gonna be shamed, you're gonna be put down. So, Chi Chi, good luck. Let's move on to Tiffany New York Pollard. How big is your clock? Because drag queens love a big ass clock, right? <laughs> Rue seems to be throwing Naomi every bone she can find. Do you like a big clock yourself? But this dog won't catch. Naomi's New York. Hi. Hi, I'm Charlie. Charlie. What's your name? Farah. Farah Moan. Farah Moan walks in. She's a twig, and she looks about 12. I have underwear older than her. James Mansfield looks scared and confused when she walks in, like, am I in the right room? Oh, you are so gorgeous and Thank blue. You. I, Thank ooh. you. So nice to meet you. Aja's makeup is just really rough around the edges, but she comes off as confident. Does she know what she looks like? Because if not, I need to tell her. I feel like I'm at home with so much talented girl. Oh. Yes! Now, do you so? Um, I'm smart in a lot of other ways. But when it comes to fabrics and needles and stuff, yeah. I'm just not as, uh, uh, what's the word? Proficient. Proficient, yeah. It's season nine. How do you walk into the workroom without knowing how to sew? That's just that. Oh, I love you. I love Farah, and she's my bestie, but she literally sounds like a child all the time. It would make the world of difference if she would just stop bitching and do it. Just do it, girl. Farah is one of those princesses that whines all the time. Suck it up. This is a competition. We're here to compete for $100,000. One minute you're in, and the next minute you're gone, honey. Are you afraid of what America is going to think of your makeup without Facetune? Nope, because I think I look almost the same. Sometimes girls that come up via social media can get a lot of praise for the way they present themselves online. You got your filters, you got your Facetune, you got all that. However, it's how you apply that makeup because sometimes when people see you in person, they can get a little bit disappointed. They help me to be successful in this entertainment business. It's part of the why, you know. Girl, where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? Sophia is funny. Where are the jokes? Cynthia. Girl, I'm sure Eureka is pissed somewhere right now. She gonna be like, I went home for this. Ross said that I am rising up. It felt really good to get some really strong critiques. Thank you, Ross. I will take that to heart. Alexis Michelle finally won a challenge. Girl, watch out, cause she is gonna make it me, 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 me. She's gonna make it the Alexis show. Can I go on a smoke break? 
Are you that stressed out? Yeah, I don't want to be Grandrea. Girl, you Grandrea. gotta grow up and accept the challenge. I don't have to. I think Aja doesn't want to play a grandma. It's one of the biggest parts in the show. And you traded it in for a bitch who's only in the last scene. So now you look like a bitch playing a bitch in the last scene. I feel Thank so you. childish yeah, right now. Good. Well, you probably should, girl. All right, y'all, it's time for us to get out of drag. These girls went from ladies to hard men. I said, what the? Bitch, are we on Big Brother? Blur out of drag, she goes from a beautiful lady in drag to a boy scout. I thought she was one of the producer's like sons or something. That's a real story. So I feel kind of confident with my look, but... Are we both doing like the same brows now, too? Oh, yeah. I noticed. Girl. This cracker seems to take a lot of inspiration from my makeup looks. I think that can be a little annoying sometimes. I am in it to win it, and I did not come here to make friends, bitch. Once upon a time, Aquaria and I were close friends. I learned makeup skills from her when she did my face for a photo shoot that was about us being twins. But now, I've been accused on national television of stealing looks from Aquaria. But I just did a look that I know for a fact she's never done. It's called being on top. Five, six, seven, eight. Bigger, this is a drag show. <laughs> Don't give me. <laughs> Calorie. America, my face is saying everything that you need to know. Dot com. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. Okay, Miss Blair. The legs are rickety like Pinocchio. She has no strings holding her up. And what did Tinderella say when she got to the ball? Can you do a pirouette turn? Lift okay. and leg it. No, but Oof. just center just that. Okay, get okay. on the platform of your foot. I thought Blair was gonna be one of my strongest team members. She's wobbling along the stage like a deer in headlights. Girl, get it together. So everyone's collaborating, throwing out ideas. Mayhem's a little quiet. Does one of us need to be like the narrator of the app? I'll go. Girl, you better deliver, because if I'm in the bottom two because of you, I'm cutting up all your wigs. All of them. <laughs> Monet is a fierce queen, and I love her to death, but her drag is very hit or miss. She's always got on these little bitty Dennis the Menace wigs. Pooch, bitch! Come on and walk! Come on and walk, bitch! If another town comes where you're not fabulous in the challenge, if you don't look great on the main stage, you're going home. Asia, huh? your back is ashy. That is not cute. Hey, your talent is in the bottom, too. <laughs> Wait, up. Oh, it's a tag. Come on, my tag along. <laughs> I'm really confused as to why Hot Wheels needs to make an appearance on RuPaul's Drag Race. And so on what year did you win Continental? Uh, 2014. Get the hell out. Get out. Brooklyn's a former Miss Continental. And that's a really big thing for us pageant girls. Bitch, we got some pageant queens in this home. That's what I said. I, uh, I didn't really have much of a, of a reaction. It's drag I've seen before. She's sparkling. She's wearing platinum hair and... Woohoo! Hello! Hi, I'm Big Silky. Come on, Big Silky. Yeah. Oh. 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 Why are your earring coming off? You weren't doing the electric slide. You just do two steps. Mary. I'm sorry, do I know you? <laughs> Both of them, girl. Both earrings. It's a national television, honey. It's a staple that to your ear, girl. When we were talking, a lot of the girls said that my dress was something that they would actually wear. Scarlet is delusional. <laughs> I'm gonna say this is a beautiful dress, but the, like I'm looking at it now and I see tons of holes. I did. I, 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 I saw the holes too. Upperlands, you own everything. Touch this skin. It's still just like Opulence. You have everything. And Kahana is trying to do, you know, what it is that's over the top, but it just still looks like a flapping duck. But Mercedes needs to turn out these challenges. She's a little bit introverted, and her looks are not that strong either. So it's like, where are you going to be strong at? You're struggling in all the categories. 
you gotta pick a struggle. You can't struggle in everything, bitch. Yo, go home. I came in here being like, oh, bitch, I'm gonna kill these acting challenges. And for them to tell me like, oh, girl, it wasn't there. I'm like, no. Oh. Ariel is a social media girl. So I think it's a difference for her being in a situation where she's with real entertainers. She's one note. She don't really have a personality. She's an Instagram hoe. Nobody care. Nobody here. <laughs> I would like to sing. I, does anybody else sing? Because I sing. I was going to say, and it would be kind of cute if you and I were the singers. Really, bitch? Last week, you said silky is loud, silky is obnoxious. There's a difference between having a strong personality and being obnoxious. So what's the tea, Christine? I said it. Who cares? Let's just build a bridge, get over it, and move forward. I don't hate her, but at the same time, I can't wait till she area her ass out the door. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who feels confident in Shandy? Our innocent good girl. She has a summer romance with Donald in Moscow. She is kind of like the main character. I can be Shandy. You want to be Shandy? Sorry. I can... Bitch! What? There's nothing Mercedes can tell me in my language, her language, any language that's going to tell me the fact that she thinks she could be the main role. I want to see you as Shandy. I feel bad for Ariel. She has been casted as Diana Ross, but really, she's Florence. When has Florence ever won? I think that we haven't done a Kellyanne, right? Kellyanne Conway, tired, blonde, haggard, press spokesperson for Trump. <gasps> oh, oh, you'd, you'd be, be really sick funny. Kellyanne. Evie looks like the Crypt Keeper, so she had to be Kellyanne Conway. She says my least favorite thing to ever hear on this show, which is, well, I'll lip sync every week if that means I'm gonna get my way there. And I'm just like, girl, even if you pack every other girl up this season, do you really think Rue's gonna put the crown on your head if you're not delivering in the challenges? Wait, how dare you? You, first and foremost, are not sickening at all. You are literally wearing trash. I'm not gagging. I mean, I'm gagging it from, like, the smell. It's like, bitch, do you bathe? Miss Evie, get over yourself. At the end of the day, you will catch this motherfucking fade. So keep it on you. Because, bitch, I'm not from Denver. I'm from fucking Dallas. The big D. I look across the room, I see Ariel, and what she's making looks like something from Party City, Little Mermaid section. I don't see no spook. Creature of the Black Lagoon is very this. You know how when you go in the movie store and they got the dollar bin, so it's like the generic versions of the movies? Straight to DVD. So now I can do whatever the fuck I want. Miss Plastique. This bitch has worn a corset every time she's hit that runway and receives no critiques about it. You should just call her Viola Davis. That bitch know how to get away with murder. I don't got to hold back. It's the top nine now. You got to give 200%. Whatever. She'll be gone soon. you always be my baby. I just find it very strange that in a walkthrough about personality or lack thereof, somehow correlates into your family not knowing that you do drag and that's the reason why you have no personality. America, it's time to stop hiding in the closet. What the f is this bitch doing? All right, tongue power. Mm -hmm. Okay, is someone trying to come from my culture? You know, it sounds a little bit like a Persian trill. Arg, mateys! I loved it, honey. The Pirates of the Caribbean was in town. Oh, my God. Is one of her legs a peg leg? I need to know right now. It really sucks. <laughs> like, but the worst part about it is that my best friend just went home. Yeah, she's a little salty that a friend left, but I'm thinking she's a little bit more upset that she had not won this challenge. I would have won this challenge, and it just, it's, it sucks. I think this is a buildup of 
weeks and weeks of her not breaking through to the judges. She also says she's really upset about Britta, but I think it's more that she's upset that neither her nor Britta have been able to live up to their reputations. Yeah, we're gonna do it, you guys! We're on Drag Race! How fun! Yes! Yeah. If a robot and a Barbie and a cheerleader all had like an orgy, and then like they made a robot cheerleader baby bitch, that would be Jan. Filler queen. Filler queen. Miss Thing is wearing a chicken feather coat. Chicken feathers. There are feathers all over the floor. Come on, chicken feathers. Chicken feathers are the least expensive feathers that there are in the planet. Girl, not even a marabou coat. Oh my God. Nice to meet you. I'm Denali. Valerie. Oh my God. Girl. Not gonna lie, I was expecting a little bit more. Your entrance look is a basic bodysuit, a blazer, and this kind of like flat wig. Okay, cute. At that time, I, I had been doing drag for like what? Six months. Wait, how long have you been doing drag? Like a year and a half. A year and a half? Okay, girl. I'm a little surprised to see Olivia here, to be honest, because I would expect Olivia to take just a little bit longer to be really ripe enough. But her smile is stunning, and I can't wait to knock her teeth out one by one. <laughs> she looks fun. <laughs> sis. She got a windbreaker on and some pants, and I'm just like, sis, did you just go power walking with my mom? Five, six, seven, eight, pivot. Does that make sense? No. <laughs> Kamora is blank face. Kamora is actually playing ping pong ball with her eyes. She's like spin like that, and then I can just end. Oh, bitch, this is the circus of life. We all over the place. Okay. I'm in the daycare, and the children are excited. I don't know who gave them this candy. And a boom. Our Mean Girl trio. They look cute. And I say that facetiously. <laughs> Utica. Olivia and Utica, I mean, one of them is doing the choreo wrong. And by the looks on Olivia's face, it's not Olivia. One, two, three, four, and a five. Around, no shenane. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and <laughs> then out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this Utica and this. Yeah. Woo! Miss Utica and this little piece of fabric, girl. <laughs> this little piece of fabric is tearing her up. In my stories, on my grave, you can Google all day. Simone has a really, really beautiful singing voice. Glamming, glamming. Is something I would never say. <laughs> We're taking over. That was a different approach. Elliot as a singer, she can dance, so that's nice. Bosco look like an angry Minnie Mouse for me. Yeah, I think she went in the wrong show. Willow's look. I see the, the little angel. Oh, again, baby, what's happening? Sis, just put them in your purse. You got to just let that spirit go. Miss Willow, baby, is just a little bit nervous, shaking in her boots or flip flops. Off the face! Wow. Bosco has the biggest transformation. I do not recognize her at all. Just yeah, her real like hair? Yeah. Wow, I love it. Love it. Give me some wig. To me, the hottest in the group out of drag, obviously, is me. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Jesus Christ, you went from a grown woman to 12. Uh, <laughs> and it's a Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> Miss Willow went from somebody's Book a whole housewife to a child right in the magic of my face. I am gooped, gagged, and gandered. You look like five years old, bitch. Thank you. Bitch, isn't the age limit? What was the age limit? I'm about to call CPS, because I said somebody is missing their kid up in here. Like, some of the reasons why I'm in, like, save. I'm a person who talks a lot, but when I talk, I have conversations. Miss Jasmine don't do that. Like, I didn't do a gown. I tried to do something a little bit different, but I can understand that they didn't like the nude. And then I understand with this, though, it wasn't fully wedding. Oh, my god. Five, six, seven, eight. Ah! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my god. 
gorgeous is a chihuahua yapping at someone's ankle. She's like, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> that little bitch ain't top nothing in her life. Every single day. Maybe if I believe it, he'll take my heart away. Okay. I am realizing that Jasmine can't sing a lick. He'll take my heart away. He's the one I'm dreaming of every single day. Girls are auto tuned out. Right, right, right. <laughs> Bam. George. Oh my god! George is with this ginormous brush. Looks like a little hamster in a cartoon. It's just. Yo! I am snatching this nose down. She can't even breathe how pinched it is. That nose. <laughs> it looks like if a hot dog had a butt. Bitch. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with this nose. I think we won. <laughs> Do you want everything RuPaul's Drag Race at your fingertips? Then head over to YouTube now and subscribe to the RuPaul's Drag Race channel, and you will get all the episodes of everything you ever want, including brand new episodes of What You Packing. Hi.